All right, another interesting thing about the Ocean State Paracon that it's held directly in front of this mill pond that was constructed about 1829. Right over here. Uh, it powered the, the mills for the uh, sawmills and the cotton mills a little bit further down. But the interesting thing about this pond is it is supposedly haunted. It has its own ghost attached to it. Apparently sometime around the turn of the 20th century, a woman went in and never came back out. And even to this day, her ghost is seen. So not only are we talking about this boulevard, of paranormal investigators down right this here way, as we can see but if we just take one or two steps over this way we have this great pond that is supposedly haunted and there have been reports that people be going over the bridge right here there's a little bridge this roadway bridge and people have reported to the police uh, i think someone's floating in the water so they, they see something in here looking like a body floating in the water we don't know and we can't validate everything just off the bat uh but it's a pretty interesting thing that just right. does take place but it's a beautiful time here at the Ocean State Paracon. Just another reason to come. Oh, just another reason to come. Like, you know, you, you come for the people and, and the events, get yourself a reading, you can't go wrong. Some shaved ice? Shaved ice is good. We can don't have enough of that in the Goblin Universe. No, can you ever go wrong with shaved ice? <laughs> Cotton candy and shaved uh, ice, you can't go wrong. It's a carnival my, my kids would, would, would kill for that right uh, now. That's right, that's right. So, all right, folks. We're gonna be doing a little more interviews for you. More and interviews. See you in the Goblin Universe. That's right. Bye. <laughs>